Okay, welcome back. So we just added um, this function here, this handle key down. We started it, and the event object has a key code, so we're getting the actual key code of the event, and it equals this dot props that letter dot care code at. If they equal each other, that's when we're going to play the sound. So just do this dot audio dot play. And this dot audio dot current time equals zero. And this dot props dot handle display. Oops, handle display with this dot props ID. That's that's our handle key down function. So that's what we what we pass in. We say this dot handle key down, and then over here, and when the compound uh, unmounts, we want to just for uh, good practice remove. Uh, our event listener. With the same signature as that. We'll run our tests. And we're passing all our tests. That's a good sign. And our keys work. Okay. Now one thing I did notice is sometimes when you reload the page and you try to hit the keys, nothing happens until you click the mouse once. And then you start getting the sound. So in component did mount, one thing we can add there is one line called window.focus, and that's a function. And if we add that, we come in. Get our keys right away. And one more little thing I will add is make this initial state got the string. Click, click or press key. There you have it. It's a drum machine that passes all the tests. And from here you can style it any way you want. You can make you know make these any shape you want, put them anywhere you want, put them inside uh, a little beatbox machine or whatever. I actually uh, a few well almost a maybe a year ago when this was on the uh, maybe six months ago I don't know but um, when this was on the I'll just show you this because we're that's that's the project and like I said you can take the CSS from here but I had another drum machine um, somewhere in here that I made out of uh, if I could ever find it Here it is, that I made out of an SVG. So I drew the SVG in a drawing program and mapped it all in. So I made, I made this thing right here uh, with buttons that actually push down. Stra scratching record. <laughs> Piano keys and all that. So you can go dumb nuts with... Uh, 
with all that stuff, but that's that's the tutorial. We did it in not that many lines of code. JavaScript, 86 lines of JavaScript. That's not too bad. Uh, in what, 40 minutes or so? So I hope that was good. I'm going to come out with a couple others for the free code camp projects and React, specifically React. Maybe some of the node ones. Uh, just showing that they're not that crazy. Uh, you can do cool things with React that streamline the process for you and make the code really nice and neat. Uh, simple code. All right. Thanks for playing.